My father is a scientist and a researcher, and he worked for the Public Service Research Institute his whole life. My father was constantly dreaming of inventing new technologies that would alleviate hunger and poverty and solve energy crises in the world. You know, that was the environment I grew up in. I'm Locked Out, the Chief Digital Officer at the NFB, the National Film Board of Canada. The NFB has been around for over 78 years, started in documentary filmmaking and then animation and then now interactive and digital storytelling. We're really lucky that being a publicly funded organization allows us to experiment and to learn from our mistakes through a culture of accepting failure and iterating and improving how we work and what we do. I love the freedom and the environment of no preconceived notions, the blank slate of form and technology. Having the freedom to experiment and to fail really allows us to learn and grow our craft and grow the work we do and innovate the work we do. You can't really have innovation these days if you don't have failure. We used to say fail off and fail quickly so that we could learn and iterate. It's the only way we can actually iterate the body of work over time. As we tackle certain challenges, we'll learn certain things about how to use a technology or how an audience reacts to this kind of storytelling in this new platform. When you start something completely new from scratch and nobody knows what the boundaries are, it's really building these relationships of trust and, and respect for each other that allow for something greater than the sum of its parts. We started Bear 71 in 2012 and the original project was an interactive documentary that was launched online and had um, a live performance version and um, interactive installation. It became a project that we entered into conversations with partners around adapting to VR. It was a really cool partnership because we got to work with Google who were working on their hardware for the Daydream and the Pixel. We were creating the project on top of all this code and technology. This project from day one challenged a lot of preconceived notions around what the boundaries were between roles. It was really figuring out, okay, what do we all bring to the project? When it's something completely new, who has the expertise to tackle the challenge and how do we tackle it? And, you know, it was definitely messy and we learned, learned a lot from it. At the end of the day, it's still human beings that are consuming these stories and experiences. So they have to resonate no matter what form or platform they're on. It's this really interesting multidisciplinary marriage of creatives that has formed something new. When we're collaborating, it's not always great to follow a hierarchical structure because one person making a decision may mean that we miss a lot of great ideas. And so that's why we find the collaborative and collective approach way more effective. But it's really how that team works together and how they collaborate and the trust that they have in what everyone brings to the table that is the difference.